Thanks for your time. Very good to be with you, Brian, and good evening. Now, you're a market economist. Yes, well, most economists are market economists, Brian, to a degree these days, yes. How do you think things are going at the moment? Well, there's a great deal of international concern. I mean, we're taking a toweling, but things will sort themselves out, Brian. This is what a market does. Well, can you explain to me how it all works? How the economy works? Well, yeah, what's the problem at the moment, for instance? Well, what we've got at the moment is an international credit crisis. Yes, how does that happen? Well, I'm a bank, Brian, and I borrow money and I lend it out and I charge more to the people I'm lending it to than I pay to the people from whom I'm borrowing it. Well, who do you borrow money from? Well, from, you know, depositors, Brian. Have you got a dollar? Well, yeah, you know, I sure. borrow your dollar and I give you, you know, there's your bank balance. One dollar. One dollar. Right. OK, and you pay interest to me on that? I do, but I also charge you fees. Well, why do you charge me fees? Because, Brian, I'm looking after your money. Your money is secure with me. I'm a bank. I mean, uh, this is a very important amount of money. This is probably your nest egg. It's safe with us. And, and how much interest do you pay me? Approximately the same as I'm charging you in fees. Oh, good deal for me. Well, your money's secure with us, Brian, and I then lend that money to businesses, and those businesses generate, generate income. This income. is how we build yeah, an economy. Yeah. And they put that income into the bank. They do, of course, Brian, and that builds the savings pool, and we can invest more money. Well, who do you lend that to? Well, to people who need credit, Brian. You see, money creates more money, so if we can create money that creates more money, we're, we're broadening the economy, expanding, we're expanding yeah, it all the time, yeah, yes. Yeah. But shouldn't people just buy that they can afford? You don't need to afford the things you're buying, Brian. You need to afford the interest on the money you need to borrow in order to buy them. And you're charging higher rates for all this? We do hop into them a wee bit on the credit rate, Brian. We stick the hydraulics under that because it's a slightly higher risk strategy. Do people need to be buying these things that well, they can afford? Obviously they think so, Brian. I mean, these things are advertised to people as very necessary, very important and deeply, deeply attractive. Well, who's advertising things that people don't need? The companies we're lending the money to. So, OK, then you bought into the US uh, subprime housing well, market. Well, Brian, so yeah. concerned are we to build a better Australia. You helped build a worse America. Yeah, well, that was an accident, Brian. What we were doing was investing in the international investment market. And that's been a disaster. It, frankly, famously, hasn't been a huge success hitherto. Well, so what are you going to do? Well, now you give me $700 billion immediately. Why? Well, because we need it, Brian. I mean, the system needs money. Imagine the economy as a body. It needs blood pumping around it, Brian. And you haven't got it? We haven't got any money, no. Well, why not? Well, we lost ours. I've just been explaining that. Well, you're not having mine. Mum! Brian won't let me play with his stuff. It's the only money I've got. You're in for it. 